Alright people, here is the deck profile for Ninja Pendulum. I apologize about Daily Duels. Like it, ugh, I've just been so busy. I'll go into more detail about why I was busy, but it definitely has something to do with on Monday's Daily Duels, that uh, unofficial observation. So I'll be talking about that on Wednesday's Daily Duels. But I got so busy, I, I got sidetracked. Uh, it was late Tuesday night, and I was like, I mean Monday night, and I was like, you know what? I'm tired, I just rendered uh, and uploaded the endo commentary. I was like, you know what? I should be home by uh by uh two o'clock uh p.m pacific time to go ahead and upload daily duels uh little did i know you know waking up at five uh five fifteen in the morning go down the center donate had a terrible time like i was down there i was down there i left out the house at five fifteen. got there you know uh they opened up at six i didn't even finish until like nine like eight forty five. you know forever you know i had a terrible time uh came home immediately turned around and went down to the school Alex I'll go more detail about that and uh, by the time I came back it was almost up to two completely slipped my mind I was exhausted I was tired took a nap and uh, yeah just I completely forgot about daily duels I apologize for it being late but you still gonna get your content so uh, already uploaded at the same time so you should see at the same time is the first tag duel with uh, Silent Swordsman but uh, for now Ninja Pendulum so you guys decided ninjas and uh, at first, I tried to do pure ninjas, and it really wasn't too hot, so I was like, you know what? Why don't we just throw the pendulum mechanic in there, you know? Why don't we just go ahead and uh, a pendulum summon some powerful monsters that are related to ninjas as well as playing some ninja-esque plays? And it worked out really well. Like, it was, it was you know, arguably the stronger of the two tag decks, so uh, let's go into detail. So, of course, we run Triple Hanzo. He is the best ninja. There is no doubt about it. Normal summon, search for a ninjutsu art, special summon, go ahead and add a ninja monster from your deck to your hand, except for Hanzo. It's all good. It's all great. Then we got the newer, second best one, he's, he's newer, uh, we got Twilight Ninja Sungetsu. So your opponent cannot, uh, uh, monsters your opponent, contr opponent control cannot target ninjas for attack except for this one. So you pretty much have two, you lock them out, which is pretty cool. Uh, your opponent cannot target face up ninja monsters with effects except for this one. So lock them out. And this card destroyed by balance at a graveyard or destroyed in your possession. Uh, by opponent's card effects, whatever, uh, you could go ahead and search a ninja. So, definitely, you run three Shingetsus. It's really great. So, three Shingetsus, three Hanzo. They, they are the, the main ninjas. They are the, the, the bread and butter of the ninja plays now. We run three upstart gold... I mean, two, 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 three, no, two. Two upstart gold ninja. Uh, like I said, I think he's... Fell, he used to be second best. I think he's fell to the third best because Shingetsu is just like, mm. Uh... Uh, once returned, you can go ahead and send a trap card from your hand to the grave virus, plus summon a level 4 or lower ninja monster, and face up defensive position, so you can go ahead and, uh, you see we're only having two, but we're not running too many traps. There's traps, but there's not too many, so, uh, that's the ratio, plus I'm really there for the ninja name, even if I draw him, I can just summon him and then go ahead and set, uh, ninja 2 art, so it's all good, so I was like, alright. I uh, wanted to keep the ratio similar, so I was like, you you guys are the ninjas, you guys are the background, and we'll keep it like that. The rest of it, let's go ahead and do some pendulum shenanigans. So, uh, of course, we are running Triple Apex Avion. You can't think of ninjas without thinking Apex Avion, of course. You go ahead and uh, transform your uh, ninja into a uh, monster that's plus three of that level. It's a wing beast, insect, or beast. Wing beast, level three, that's uh, three levels higher than... Of course, my Hanzo, or any of my ninjas that are level 4, level 7, bam, Apex Avion. Come on, as simple as that. Plus, with the Pendulum mechanic, Pendulum Summon it, or just, you know, return it back to the hand, negate something, Pendulum Summon it back, it's just great, you know. It's definitely one of the main things that you want to play ninjas, and then with the Pendulum mechanic on top of Apex Avion, we know the shenanigans. I mean, come on, come on. Uh... And the Magician Engine, I, I felt like the Magician Engine was the best. Magician Engine worked well when it was Odd Eyes Pendulum back when it's in Daily Duels. Throw it in with Apex Avion, still had the great plays. As you can see, we're not running the Unicorn. I opted out to not run the Unicorn because I felt it didn't really fit the theme. You know, Apex Avion, that's that's pretty, that, Apex Avion's an honorary ninja. Am I right? Am I right, people? So, uh, I opted out of Unicorn, he's just a spellcaster, and I'm just like, w I mean, what do you really do? You know, you're not part of the Magician Engine, you're not part of the Ninja Engine, so why are you in here? So, I opted not, uh, not to run him, but we do have a pretty interesting card replacing him, which I'll get into. So, Triple Dragon Pit, 
Triple Dragon Oath. I mean, come on, they are, they are the bread and butter of the Magician Engine. Uh, one, of course, Insight Magician, because he's limited to one. I mean, uh, he gets his job done when it's his turn to do his job, right? Uh, then we got, of course, our one Skullcrab, our Joker, our one Monkey Board, and our Monkey Board uh, paired up with our one Odd Eyes Unicorn. So, not only do we have the Magician Engine for the Pendulum Mechanics, but we also got the Monkey Board, uh, Unicorn, uh, Skull Cover Joker can both search both ends, and then, of course, the inside. I think that these cards right here, I think this is the engine. These cards right here, these ten monsters, and then your, uh, your Pendulum Call. So it's, um, perfectly good engine for, if you just want to throw a Pendulum engine in for your, uh, for any of your decks. Uh, I definitely recommend, uh, these thirteen cards. Uh, then we have the card that I opted out instead of Unicorn. As a synergy, you're probably like, what the hell is that? Alright, this is Ether the Wicked Empowered Dragon. Uh, he's a pendulum based monster, pendulum scale 4, it's kind of, I think I put him in pendulum scale once because I really need this pendulum summon Apex Avion with Dragon Pit, which is good, but no, I'm using it for his field effect, 2300 attack, it's not bad, level 6, dragon, pendulum effect monster. Uh, when this card is normal summon or special summon, I target a monster on the field, and I can target a monster on the field and banish it. So, I pendulum summon him, banish it, you kill him, goes back to extra deck, pendulum summon again, banish, go back to extra deck, come back, banish, you know, but, uh, really, uh, it also has synergy with super transformation. So, Super Transformation is that one that you definitely saw with uh, White Dragon Ninja. The reason why I didn't go White Dragon Ninja is because I didn't run too much back row. Plus, I, if I was going to run him, I was probably going to run him at one, which would be a number generator. I would draw him in and, yeah, you know. And I was like, yeah, all you do is protect back row. I want something to go with the pendulum mechanic, but and also be threatening. And I was like, this guy right here. So, Super Transformation, I target my uh, face-up ninja, one of your monsters, send them both to the graveyard, summon a dragon, dinosaur, or a sea serpent, this time dragon, whose level is less than or, or equal to the combined level. Generally, my ninja is level 4, you're probably going to have something 2 or higher. I'm going to go ahead and play Super Transformation, not only it, am I tributing your monster, so you're going to take the hit on that, but then I'm going to summon my, Impera dra my Empowered Dragon, who will then banish another monster, you know, the play is... Uh, pretty good there. So then I was like, you know what? Definitely Empower Dragon. Not only does it work well with the ninjas with Super Transformation, but also for the banish, uh, the pendulum mechanic and banishing uh, a monster on the field is great too. So uh, there you go. So 24 monsters. I mean, generally when it comes to a pendulum based deck, this high monster count. <coughs> Rota, search your ninjas. No. Regeki. You can, sometimes that top deck Regeki saved you, but you, you gotta admit that. Uh, triple Pendulum Call, of course, running the Magicians, you know, I would gladly go ahead and pitch a card to set up my Pendulum Scale. One card Pendulum Scales are just too good, too good, too good. Should be hit, should be hit. Uh, then, of course, Triple Tune Twister, go ahead and clear up that background, make sure I get off my plays. Uh, two Transformation, two Super Transformation, make sure that I don't qual guys. It's like, I don't really need three of each, I, I'll go with two and sit there. I got Solemn Warning and our Solemn Strikes, the was that. Uh, Castell, Rhapsody, 101, Cowboy, Dweller, Diamond Dyer, Utopia, Lightning, uh, Dark Rebellion, Emerald, Crimson Blader, I mean, yeah, I mean, not Crimson Blader, Blade Armor Ninja, uh, Giant Hand, uh, then we do have some 6s in here, so I was like, okay, well, we can go into M7, so there's a rank 6, and then we have some 7s in here, so Big Eye and fl um, Flare Metal, so there you go, you know, the extra deck, it's kind of thrown together, just a whole bunch of just, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, throw them in the extra deck, doesn't really matter, I'm not sure if I access, access them often, but they're there in case I need them, it's called a toolbox for a reason, you know, I put it on the shelf, and if I need a tool, I go ahead and take the toolbox off the shelf, crack it open, and bam, I got the plates, you know, uh, but yeah, uh, I, like I said, Pure Ninjas, eh, but Pendulum Ninjas, like this, like this, it was it was a lot of fun. It was really great. It was one, it was better of the two tag decks for this month. And, you know, at first I was kind of like, ah, oh, crap, Ninjas, I'm not sure, you know. It was kind of, at first it was kind of like one of the, eh, uh, decks on Daily Duels for the past month. But, you know, comparison to others. But it evolved and became something very interesting, kind of like with Nordics too. So, anyway, like I said, I apologize for Daily Duels being uh, late. Uh, uh, I was super busy, but I'm going to get a little bit less unbusy. So, I'll be make sure to... Uh, get all your content to you guys on time. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the time that Ninja was on here. Thank you guys for being so understanding. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys on time tomorrow. Daily Duels, I'll be giving you that BES deck profile. And I will be playing with Skull Servants. Yes, you guys voted for Skull Servants. So I will see you guys tomorrow with that. All right, people. Thanks for watching.